moms can have a pretty tough job at it, right? Caring for the family. Mom, I need this. Mom, help me with that. Can you fix this? And the list goes on and on <laughs> and on. And sometimes we feel like we're the only ones going through a situation. Well, not anymore. Happening in your community, a blog for the everyday mom. Joining us now, nurses and bloggers Leslie Tagger and Nicole Wachner from Sarah Bush Lincoln are here. So you've started a blog, uh -huh. Stethoscopes and Strollers. I love that <laughs> title. How did you all come up with that and get started blogging? Um, well, Nicole and I um, have been nurse practitioners for a while and nurses, but what our primary role is what's most important to us is life as a mom. So we kind of wanted to blend those two together and provide support for moms um, through various ages, new moms, old moms, everybody in the middle, um, but provide mommy advice as well as medical advice that might be related to women's health. I think that's really the benefit of what you get by reading your blog too, is that blend of both the, the mom, the social advice, but also that medical stuff. Because there are times you just don't know what yeah, to do, right. and moms and dads too, like, yeah. and you need a resource to go yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. So we don't have to go to WebMD anymore yes. to diagnose our kids. We can come to the stethoscopes and strollers. So let's talk a little bit, little bit about some of those topics that you do cover throughout your blog. Um, we've done everything from, you know, our favorite baby gear, favorite baby gadgets to, um, you know, women's health issues like vaginitis, um, other, you know, sort of favorite recipes, kind of the whole gamut of mom stuff, health stuff and then you know a little bit of just kind of fun stuff in between yeah so what have the reactions been like from other moms and <laughs> and other readers out there um, I have people stop me all the time like at County Market and they'll say <laughs> I loved your IUD blog please tell me more about Marina wow. so oh. that's when we know that's what makes us happy to your people IUD are reading. blog yes yes <laughs> which is the number one thing you want to hear about in yes. County Market yes. oh, your interuterine devices yes very important well, you know I'm that, proud of you for, for knowing what that yeah. is yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but, but it's important to talk about those things and a lot yes. of different things. And that's yeah. one of the things you do is try to create a forum, right, where yes. people feel comfortable yes. to ask things yes. that they a might not. A lot of not. people are uncomfortable bringing that up. And if, if they're not talking with us, but at least their healthcare provider and just getting more information. Yeah, so what have you learned about yourselves maybe um, throughout blogging and, and starting this, this journey? I mean, I think it opens up questions even, you know, that we have or that I had as a, a new mom with a new baby or, you know, things that first time around you just don't know, yeah. things that your baby needs or things, you know, that are going to come up postpartum with, like, mood issues, depression, things like that, that, and, you know, I have said a couple times, Leslie, like, oh, I wish I had this when I was a new mom as, yeah. like, a resource just because, I mean, even in the healthcare profession, yeah. it's nice to have someone who you know who's been through it before that can kind of help you through the process. Okay. okay, and earlier we saw you in pink tutus. What what was up with that? Um, Sarah Bush is doing um, a breast cancer run in October, October 10th, and um, we're encouraging patients and uh, the community in general to sign up for it. We're going to wear pink tutus. We're gonna, The hospital's going to offer three classes that you can learn how to make the tutu if you're not familiar with how Absolutely. to do that. And you don't have to wear a tutu if you don't want to, but it's just to um, increase breast cancer awareness during October. If I can wear one, they can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> that's right, because you're very active in the community, yes. and yes. That's, yeah. that's a good thing to do. So. so you get a lot of response from folks. Is there something that really stands out to you? Have you gotten any things that really caught you off guard that people wanted answers to or something that was really funny? Um, I just think, you know, I don't even know necessarily so much with the blog, but kind of in general, I'm sort of surprised at the things that, you know, people kind of bring up and ask questions about. But that's why we love it, because it does sort of, it, it's a comfortable forum, I yeah. think, for people to feel like they can ask those questions, and they're surrounded by other women and other moms who probably have the same questions, and they don't have to feel awkward about it. Right. We're looking now at the, um, the uh, poster for your pink tutu uh, walk run. Yes. race there um, but a question I have for you being a mom and then also I'm I know that that's a full-time job as well as being you know nurses and then throw blogging into it when do you find time to do that <laughs> uh, we we try and work ahead or just in those lots of time we will text each other at like 10 o'clock at night what do you think about this topic and mm -hmm. just whenever we can get a free moment so, so it's probably nice to have a partner yes, to yeah, work absolutely. Together. we yes. bounce ideas off each other or just help proofread each other's um, because sometimes Smart. we think so medically, they're like, okay, what would a mom think about reading about this? So. Right. You don't want to use too many yes. 
quarter yes. words or yes. half dollar words. Yeah, yes. yeah. Got to keep it simple and, yes. and make sense to folks. Yeah. So if, if someone wants to read your blog that's hearing about this right now, where can they find it? Um, just on Sarah Bush's website on sarahbush.org and there's a, a link that they can click to and we post, I post every Tuesday and Nicole does every Thursday. And so. we usually try to link it to our Facebook account yeah. as well. So through Sarah Bush's Facebook page and then we try and put it on our personal Facebook pages as well. So That's great. All right, mm -hmm. very good. We're looking at the Sarah Bush website down there below. It's stethoscopes and strollers and we'll connect you at ciliving.tv after today's show. Sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks for ladies. coming in. Fun. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Fun people make for a fun block. Sure That's what's do. important here. Hey, a classic remake of the 1960s TV show, A Man from Uncle